Hello everyone, Keeper Garden Tech Guy here with another video and today we're going to be looking at the Google Pixel and the LG V20 or specs phase down. Who will win? Will Google win themselves or will LG? So let's go. What both of these phones have literally in common is that they're on an Android Nougat, which is Google's latest release. Well, not the latest release, but well, Google's new Android version. But the thing is, the difference is this one's an Android Nougat 7.0, and this one's on 7.0.1, but they're still technically the same. There are slight differences, but Google might have the upper hand here in terms of software since they invented Android. But this video is more on hardware specs to see if who will win in hardware specs because Google obviously went the software specs since they invented Android and they own Android. But those of you may not know, Google let LG release Android Nougat first for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they were kind enough to LG. But let's start off with the LG V20 since Google gave them the honors first. And uh, if and you can sign up here for info in these boxes to see when it will be available for official retail. First of all, steady record. Steady card 2.0. Now, go to the Google Pixel and the LG V20 comes with steady card. Google would have said so at the launch event. If they would have displayed a demo. But steady card and the LG V20 seems well, the, it comes out more crisper. Uh, but on the Google Pixel, it stabilizes it more but not as crisp as on the LG V20. Now the Hi-Fi quad dock audio. Now LG wins on audio here in terms of internal specs. Well, Hi-Fi quad dock, you won't hear the difference really unless you use headphones and it would come with some special headphones in the box. Hi-Fi quad audio re removes most of that white sounds which gives it that little zinging thing in your audio. Now it comes with wide angle lens. Now the Google Pixel does not come with wide angle lens exactly but it has a wide but it has a like a a processor which gives you more wide photos but not as wide as the LG V20. This is 120 35 degrees and the Google Pixel is about 120 degrees. Now HD audio recorder. Now HD audio recorder is very nice, but I think the Google Pixel might win on this one. I will tell you just now what it specs. It comes in 24 bits, but the camera specs are very high here for the LG V20. The camera specs are very high for both phones on my note. And of course Android 7 that's your new card. Android's new OS and this one's on Snapdragon 820. If most of you don't know, now let's head over to the Pixel. Make entirely out of Google. First of all, Google Assistant built in. Now, as said earlier, there is a preview edition of Google Assistant in the Google Auto Messaging app. But Android 7.1 has the full version, and Google Pixel is the only phone currently with that. You can manage everyday tasks, be entertained, all that. But then again, you have Google now on the Android, on the regular Android Nougat, but it cannot do as much as Google Assistant. But hey, at least it's still the same. The highest rated smartphone camera ever claims to be the highest smart rated cam camera ever at least from the ratings that they got from the 89DXO mark 89 that's the highest mark ever in in our current generation 
it comes with a 12.3 megapixel main camera I think the LG V20 has a uh, 12 megapixel cam camera also with a dual lens with a dual lens it will equal around 20 megapixels for but comes with a large 1.55 um pixels and a f 2.0 aperture now the w w large f 50 1.55 um pixels is what puts google against the dual lens camera here Unlimited storage for audio, photos, and videos. Yes, unlimited storage. And guess what? Your 4K videos and photos are backed up in 4K. Yes, backed up in 4K. So if you want to view your, vi your photos and videos on a 4K TV, it's on 4K. If you want to go in your Google Photos Cloud, if you deleted a photo on your device, and you have it in the cloud it's still right here in 4k because, um, and it comes with google duo but you can also download google duo on either device so um, so they're so neck and neck with the, with the google duo feature and all that and experienced by google a seamless glass aluminum body with smooth surfaces and ease to get curved edges and unlock with pixel and print now both of them the design is pretty good on both of these devices. The difference is the um the LG V20 has um military grade metal, but this has an aluminum body and aluminum and military grade metal. Well, the military grade metal might be slightly higher than the aluminum, but aluminum is just enough to keep a flagship phone durable. And it they both come with fingerprint sensors. The, the fingerprint sensor at, on this on the LG V20 doubles as a home button, and the f fingerprint sensor on the Google Pixel doubles as a quick access for your notifications. Now, the, in terms of display, display, this comes with a AMOLED bright display with 16.77 million colors. And this comes with uh, HD, full HD, I think. The LG V20, and you can get feet seven hours of battery life in 15 minutes. Put your phone to charge for 15 minutes, and you can get seven hours of battery life. So, in terms of battery life, the Google Pixel wins or does it? I'm not quite sure. The, it's kind of hard because we don't have much info on the LG V20. Well. At least, at least I watch the live event so I know what I'm talking about. But it's also easy to switch in just three steps. And uh, with the LG V20, well, it's not as that easy, but there are applications that LG has in which you can do that. And you can make it yours. They have cases. LG has their cases. They have live cases. Here. LG has their cases in their. <coughs> LG has cases right here, unlocked, blah blah blah, cases and covers, the yeah, cases and covers and all that, LG V20 cases and so on, built in for VR, the downside of the LG V20 is that it is not VR ready. But there are third party VRs that you can use, but it's not the dream ready. At least we have no news of that. Now there are two sizes 5 inch and 5.5. The Google Pixel is 5, point, is 5 inches and the Pixel XL is 5.5, but I'm not focusing on the Pixel the XL, I'm focusing on the Pixel. And the best of Google the next gen by Verizon comes on Verizon and all of that and you have quick specs and so on and so on and so on Google Pixel specs 2700 mAh battery the LG V20 is a 3000 mAh battery so the battery life might last a bit longer that varies on your daily usage and so that is it
with the main specs versus for the LG V20 and the Google Pixel. You can tell me what you think in the comments about these two phones. You might have ordered the Google Pixel by now and you're waiting for more info on the LG V20. But on my honest note, I would give these phones a 50-50 benchmark because they both have very good features. The LG V20 has a good camera. The Google, the Google Pixel has the best, the latest camera specs. They both run on the latest OS and so on. So they're very neck and neck. And so that is it, Chief Gordon Tech Guy signing on with the Google Pixel versus the LGB20 specs. Bye.